If you go on to enjoy the video, do me a favour and hit that like button. It really does help out the channel a lot. And through Team of the Season, we are going to be doing a hell of a lot of player reviews. And of course, if you need any coins to get you through Team of the Season, head over to u7buy.com. Through Team of the Season, they are doing a pretty big promotion. 15% off when you use the code TVM at checkout. The link is in the description. What is going on, guys? I'm here. Welcome back to another day of 6pm content. And normally... Uh, today would be the best day of 6pm content in terms of a team of the season week because today is the day we normally get upgrades. I have not checked anything. It is bang on 6 o'clock. Let's have a little look at objectives. Uh, we have nothing. Retro MLS kits are there. I said the other day I'd love it if they did other retro kits. They've not shown us any sign of that happening. I know there are some in-game, but... Um, like if on the market, for example, but f yeah, I like that. Awesome, but it would be nice if we had other leagues as well. Speaking of retro kits, I picked up today in my other job, I picked up today a 1994-95 away Blackburn Rovers shirt. That, I mean, is in mint condition as well. It is banging. Big fan of that. Obviously, we'll be looking to, uh, to sell it on, but uh, still, what a shirt. 15 quid it cost me. It's worth about 60. Unreal. Anyway... Football related, so I thought I'd tell you, but let's have a little look at the SBCs and see if we have upgrades. I, before I even look at this, I, I beg and I hope and I pray that EA haven't screwed us with these. Every single time we have had picks in some capacity or another. Some of them have been bad. So, for example, the French League, they didn't give us a minimum rating. They were just... Uh, like rare gold, whatever picks, right? So we were guaranteed a rare gold, that was it. The other ones we had... Uh, like 81 pluses, league specific. I think the Bundesliga was league specific. If we don't get player picks in general here, I'm going to be very annoyed. But also, I really want, like, not league specific, I don't care, but I really want them to be a minimum rating. Please don't screw us with the upgrades EA. 80 plus player pick, there we go. I, I'm happy. Honestly, I am happy. 82 to 88, a lot of people hate on it, but it is a really good way of grinding out some of the player SBCs, uh, you do need nine golds, which is a bit of a shame, but you are guaranteed to get an 82 to an 88. Generally, it's going to be 82, 83. You'll get the odd 84, and you will get lucky with an 85, 6, 7, and possibly 88 at some point, but not that often. But if you, if you want a nice, steady, guaranteed way to grind 83, 84 rated teams, that isn't a bad SBC, and a lot of people hate on it, but if you work it out, it's not terrible. This is the one I'm interested in. We have Ultimates Impacts. We have Man of the Matches that I forgot to mention in yesterday's video, Impacts. Interestingly enough as well, I would have done a comparison. Javi Martinez, I didn't hate on it, but I said maybe it would have been better if they gave it to us like relatively cheap. It was It's 200k, right? But Kante came into packs the very same day. 91 rated Kante. On paper... He's not as good as that Javi Martinez. We all know in practice he will be 10 times better in game than Javi Martinez. However, he is more than double the price. Yes, it's tradable. Yes, he's on the market, but he is double the price. He's about between 440 and 530, depending on your platform. But Javi Martinez is 200k. So if you look at it from that point of view, you can say, look, you're not getting a player that's as good. Even though it is on paper, he won't be in game, but he's half the price. So maybe it is worth it. From that point of view, I do understand. I get it. Yeah, it makes sense, actually. It does make sense. It probably is worth 200k. I was just hoping after that Dembele fiasco with how expensive it is, even though, I, again, I do think it's worth it, I was kind of hoping that they would give it to us for, not nothing, but like 100k. So, all gold. There are three brick slots, and we only need two rares. I would call that a win. That is a... I, I think that's a big win. I think that's huge. So, three brick slots, you only need two rare golds, and 30 chemistry. Now, is the chemistry going to be an issue? Let me find out. Put quite simply, I don't think it's going to be that much of an issue. The only problem with this is goalkeepers. Goalkeepers are, I mean, they're 10 a penny, right? I have three goalkeepers there, and they're just everywhere. They've, and I've got one in the squad, actually. They're really easy to buy, to pick up. They're always cheap, regardless of whether you need them or not. They're always cheap. The problem with this is you're not going to be able to use that many. You'll probably be able to get away with two, maybe three in a, in a team 
if you have links as well. So 30 chem isn't high. It didn't really phase me that much. It wasn't that much of a problem. For two rare golds and the rest to be rare and you have three brick slots and it's an 80 plus as well. I think that's a really, really nice way to end off ultimate team of the season in terms of the upgrades. We may get more tomorrow. There may be more there now. I didn't check till the end. I am a big fan of these. Very, very happy about them. I'm going to go and make a few of them, maybe five, and we'll do them to end the video. There is number five complete. Now, the last time I did this was for the... What league was it? Bundesliga, I think. Was it the Bundesliga? I did four, and I got two team of the seasons. So, you know... Not saying that's exactly what I expect again, but it would be very nice to get a team of the season from these five. I'm, am I wrong in saying there's also another team of the season in packs? Is MLS and rest of the world still in packs? Can't remember. Don't know. Let's stop the jibber jabber. Get them open, and get disappointed. We are guaranteed to get 80 plus, so we do eliminate a lot of the crap. Now it's not 81 plus. It's not 82 plus. So, yes, they could have been better, but I am a big fan of these player picks in general. Much prefer these than packs. Kind of wish they'd make a little bit more of a thing of the of the opening of it, really. Like, kind of like a pack opening, uh, like a pack animation, even. But um, there's an 84. Now, it's a goalkeeper. I'm going to take it because it's an 84, but I'm, I'm probably going to re-rinse the majority of these back into these player picks. So I kind of want to take things that are going to link. That's why I took Hernandez, even though he was the highest rated. Roy Patricio is just about high enough to go into a player. Any 83s that are in good positions, I'll probably take those, even if I do get a decent 84, maybe. So in this instance, I'm not going to take Perrin. I'm going to take Rafinha because it's a Brazilian right mid works into the formation quite well for a player pick not the best so far i will admit come on ea there we go okay on you at you a very very good player in real life in fifa maybe not so much but a team of the season from five picks six foot seven a touch of the crouches about him uh not the best in terms of acceleration but has sprint speed doesn't have any agility whatsoever composure is lacking most people are not going to like that. That's the type of card I actually enjoy playing with because it's a challenge. Alex Tellez is not a bad pick. If the team of the season wasn't there, it wouldn't have been terrible. That, though, is a team of the season from four. It's not a team of the season I wanted. Obviously, you want one of the best of, but that's not that's not bad. You know, it's not, I, I don't mind that return. And finally, come on, treat me again. No. Well, 83, Marcelo. I'll take him, even though Dejeuner is probably... The better pick for going back into the SBC. 83 Marcelo, very easy to link. I could play him, not play him, I could put him 6 chem as a left mid. Now, is that worth it? Obviously, I don't know how much the SBC is coming in at. It looks relatively cheap, but cards are quite expensive right now. It's coming in at around 5 to 6k. So, yeah, pretty, pretty sure, pretty safe to say rather that that's worth it. Because that right there pays for the majority, if not all, of the packs, right? What was it? 24, 30k? I've, I've spent the equivalent of 30k. He sells for about 25. And I would imagine Patricio is probably the 5k. Yeah, so I got Hernandez, Rafinha and Marcelo for free, essentially. If you want to work it out that way. So, you know, they were profitable. I will hopefully do a video on these in the next couple of days. I, I just want to splurge. Maybe I'll throw, I don't know. 100k in on my account got another couple of accounts I have access to maybe I'll throw in money and players and things on there as well if you want to see that let me know and of course if you've done any maybe you've done five what was your best from five if you have enjoyed this video and you want to see those picks do me a favor and hit that like button subscribe to the channel for new and until the next time goodbye